Hello ninjas, on this quick video we'll be looking to uh, how to fix the connection between two VMs using VirtualBox. So over here I have a Kali Linux and also a Windows 10 machine which I've built on my lab. And um, to f at the moment these machines do not ping each other because their settings are on the NAT translation. So NAT is, is a network address translation. So if you're familiar with it, uh, what it does is there is a way to map multiple local private addresses to a public IP that your internet service provider has given you. And at the moment, uh, when you have the settings set to NAT, you are making another network address translation on top of what you already have. So if I check the IP address for my Kali at the moment, Um, so that's giving me an address of 10.0.2.10 and if I check for my uh, Windows 10 I'm just going to go quickly check for you so that's 10.0.2.15 and to make it more sense I'm just going to do a trace route on Google trace rt on google.com And as you can see, um, I have also a virtual router, which was uh, created when I have the settings set to NAT. So a virtual router for these machines were created. That is a 10.0.2.2. And this router is connecting to my physical router for my computer. And then from that, it goes to make the request to the web server. So at uh, the moment these machines do not ping each other, so if I try to ping my Kali machine, I'm going to get a host unreachable. And uh, so let's fix that. So what we want to do is that you want to, you do not have to turn off your machine, but you can just go to a change to bridge adapter. That's one way to do it. So bridge adapter is gonna uh, allow you to communicate between the host and all the virtual machines. So between the, my actual computer and the two virtual machines I'm creating. And I'm gonna click on advanced and allow all over here. I also wanna do the same thing for uh, the Kali machine, go network, bridge adapter, advanced, allow all, okay. And I would recommend uh, turn off your machines and then turn it back on with the right settings. But uh, for my testings here, uh, you don't have to turn off. So let's check again. And as you can see, my IP has already changed. And let's check our IP as well for our color machine. So I have got a new IP address so let's try to ping that dot two two and we can ping a color machine fine and let's try to ping now our Windows machine from our Kali And it's giving us host unreachable. It's trying to connect it. And uh, the reason it does that is because you do have to turn on one more settings here on Windows. And if you go to open network, internet settings, uh, as you can see here, mine is set to private network. But if it was set, if yours was set to public, uh, just click, let's go to internet, click on the network name and click private. And what you want to do is that you want to change advanced sharing options. So over here you can see the file operation sharing is also a turn off. And you want to make your network discoverable. So check them both. Save the settings. And as you can see, uh, the ping works straight away. So uh, that's how you fix the uh, connection between two VMs. And you also will be able to uh, ping your uh, own computer 
So as you can see, I'm 015. So let's just try to print that. Now there are some instances that you do want to have the settings on, but if you're doing or testing any of uh, malware or any other scripts that could affect your host machine, you do want to change settings to be a uh, different settings. But if the purposes of your lab is to make all the machines be able to ping each other, uh, that's how you have it, the connection. See you next time.